So how did the Las Vegas real estate market fare for November 2019? Well, that's what I'm talking about today, and I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Angela O'Hare, a local realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and welcome to my monthly market update for December 2019. Um, in this issue, I will be going over November 2019 numbers. Realtor.com predicted in a forecast last week that the medium sales price will fall um, to 1.1% in Southern Nevada for 2020. However, the rest of the country is expected to have a 0.8% um, gain in medium sales price. In reality, what is a 1.1% drop? In my opinion, I don't think that's really a huge drop. And what does Realtor.com know in predicting how our market's going to be? As I've shown in numerous market updates, the numbers don't indicate that. We have been climbing, not as fast as we were, but we are still climbing in our medium sales price and we are showing still appreciation. And I do not feel that the sales prices for 2020 will drop like Realtor.com predicts. I feel that um, 2020 is going to be very comparable to this year, totally. 100% agreed to that. For the last couple months, I have been in the trenches showing houses to clients and I am still seeing multiple offers, especially homes that are in the 350 and under price range. I had this one client that was like 310 price range and we were having a very hard time finding a home because some of them, if not all of them, had multiple offers. It was very hard to get the seller to pay for any of the contributions, like closing costs, or lower it down in price. Um, so it's been very busy these last two months, and you can see it in the numbers that I'm gonna go over. People are out there buying right now. I have several clients that I'm working with, and these numbers, as I've said in many times in the past videos, do not lie. So I don't know how Realtor.com or any of these other companies can predict a lower recession. I don't know. I'm just, I just know what I know helping clients out there and I don't see it happening. I've been stating this for a very long time that I do not see it happening. I could be absolutely wrong, <laughs> but I have that feeling that I think we are going to just keep on keeping on and, um, be stable as it was this year. According to the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, there were 2,407 single family homes that sold for the month of November, down 17% from October, but up 5% from November 2018. We started seeing the trend at the end of last year where sales were starting to plummet. Um, so being up against 2018 is a great sign in my opinion. The medium sales price of previously owned single family homes for October remained at 307,000, which is up 4% from the prior year. Again, being up from the prior year is, is a good sign that business is picking up from the end of 2018. However, there were a total of 6,531 single family homes listed without offers at the end of November down 9.4% from October, and down 6.7% from the prior year. There is a 2.7 months of housing supply in Southern Nevada, up 9.1% from October, and down 11.2% from the prior year. And 51.4% of the closings for the month of November was on the market 30 days or less. In October, the number was at 52.6%, and in November 2018, it was at 60.3%. The so-called distressed home sales, meaning um, purchases of foreclosures at auction or underwater homes in Las Vegas, only compromised 3.3% of the total sales across the valley, which is pretty good because um, that is down 73% from 2011. When the economy was in the gutter, according to the recent figures from the Las Vegas um, Applied Analysis Firm. It's not much else to report for the numbers from November. Um, 
I just think that we're heading in the right direction. I know that uh, next month I already have one or two closings. I have a lot of clients reaching out to me from out of state. I know, yes, out of state clients from California, from Denver that want to relocate here to Vegas because Vegas is an awesome place to live. Plus we have no state income tax and our property taxes are considerably lower than most um, states. I wish everyone a wonderful holiday season. I hope that you enjoy the holidays here in Vegas. I also did a video for things to do in December, like Christmas events in Las Vegas. Uh, I'll post it up above. And then also I'm doing a New Year's Eve video, which I will post next week. So stay tuned to those two videos. Um, a lot happening here in Vegas during the holiday season. A lot of tourists coming, especially for New Year's Eve. It's going to be a fun-filled adventure <laughs> if you're into all that. Um, but if you'd like to download the full report provided by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, I posted a link down in the description below. Also, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home here in Las Vegas, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112, or I've also posted another link to a buyer seller form down in the description below. I'm Angela O'Hare, a local realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm here to help you with all your real estate needs. As always, if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider uh, subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about the Las Vegas Valley. I cover not only about the Summerlin communities, I cover what's happening in this awesome city. Thank you so much for watching and happy holidays to you. Of course, my doggy wants to come. Let's see if he's gonna be in this video. <laughs> you wanna come at my video and say hi? No. No? Oh my God, I was not expecting <laughs> <laughs> You're like fully dressed in front of a camera and I didn't even see you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Daughter just came home from school and she found it funny that I was out here in the living room making a video. <laughs> Let's see what else. Um,